Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming this video. I posted a video and I, I talked about something and the congratulatory messages that have been coming in are just so amazing. So amazing. Some people texted me on Instagram, some people texted me on WhatsApp, some people texted me on YouTube and I'm really so grateful that you guys are happy for me. So yeah, today I just want to talk about, you know, a few things. First trimester so far and i also want to talk about um you know fertility or pregnancy after miscarriage so for my first trimester so far i already have like some things that I want to talk about because this has been it hasn't been easy but before we start hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is bless i'm always happy to be here with you guys if you're new please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up and if you're not new thank you so much for coming back i really do appreciate it huh? okay please don't mind if i'm looking so bad i don't have time for myself i've always been looking bad recently but yeah so fertility after miscarriage in my last two videos i said it was different for some women so women have complained after miscarriage after stillbirth getting pregnant is a war getting pregnant see i've experienced that too just don't even think that this one just happened i've had um, one before and i experienced a delay while getting pregnant but all i just want to say as I said in my last video is, it happens different for different women, okay? So, it might even take you up to six months. It might just take you up to three months to conceive after losing a baby, still birth or miscarriage. It might take you up to a year to, to conceive. But, there's something else I want to say, which is something I feel like a lot of women do leave hanging. When women have miscarriages or still births, I feel like they just leave themselves. They don't do things that people who have, like, a baby that is living do things like taking your drugs going for checkups and you know all of that they just feel like okay i lost the baby so there's no need to like do all that you have to take care of yourself that is the first thing you have to take care of yourself even if you've lost your baby the fact is that you carried a baby a child inside that womb so just take care of yourself because a baby is a baby a pregnancy is a pregnancy even if it's not up to nine months even if it's it's like you didn't you're not seeing that child healthy and alive you carry the child so if there's anything you feel like women who have healthy pregnancies and healthy babies do do it for yourself it is the same thing they carry children you carry children don't neglect your checkups don't neglect the drugs that the doctors have given you if they tell you to come back to the hospital so that you can clear up the tissues of the remaining baby inside you it's as if you had um, a miscarriage and the baby died inside you please do it i know it might be painful but it's worth it if you want to have another baby it's just worth it to just even have your body like you know cleaned up your inside to be cleaned up so yeah go for scan go for test after tr taking the drug go for a retest to be sure that you don't have an infection and you know all of that one thing you will do the worst thing you do to yourself is after having a miscarriage or a stillbirth you leave yourself just because you lost that baby 
it's going to affect you in the long run. You, 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 you even cried two times. You have to cry double times when your fertility starts getting um, affected and you know, all of that. But yeah, all I just want to say, if you had a miscarriage or you had a stillbirth and you've done all these things and it's still taking time, don't worry. Just relax. It's still going to happen. It is still going to happen. So baby dust, all those women are trying to get, um, trying to conceive. It's really not easy. Mentally draining, physically draining, it's not easy at all. So yeah, I just wait on God and he's definitely going to do it at his own time. So, first trimester so far. Hey, God. <laughs> first trimester so far has been so crazy. You can see I'm not even looking good. Like, I'm in the worst place. I, like, I, in the worst, first trimester, <laughs> God. I wrote some things down here so I will not forget. So, when I got pregnant and I found out, I was really excited. I was excited because... Fun fact, the last baby I lost, I was supposed to have it this year. I was supposed to have that baby this year and that baby died. And getting pregnant again this year, is like, how, how? I was so surprised, I was so happy. I cried, cried, cry of joy now, tears of joy. So yeah, but I found out when I was, I think four weeks and few days, four weeks and six days or something like that. So. Within five weeks, six weeks, I wasn't seeing like any morning sickness. I was like, ah, maybe I'm a pro in this thing. No, maybe morning sickness will not come more. I totally forgot that some women used to start their morning sickness around 10 weeks. So the morning sickness did not come. <laughs> then five weeks went, six weeks went, seven weeks. That was when it now hits me. And I started feeling somehow my mouth started changing in taste. I started feeling tired and you know, all of that. Morning sickness now hits and it wasn't funny at all it wasn't funny but thankfully i was staying with somebody so i, I just had some things that she could do to help me out so at eight weeks at three in the morning i woke up to go and have a pee and i started bleeding like when i mean like I, I was bleeding and it wasn't funny because i found it strange and in my mind i was like hey i don't use this one again i'm finished i went i woke my husband i told him like this was what was happening he too was tense and he was like you know what just relax um just relax we're going to go to the doctor the first thing in the morning we're going to go to the doctor so the first in the morning we did go to the doctor we checked doctor was like it's normal are you still bleeding i was like no i'm not bleeding anymore he was like okay sometimes it is normal so just relax and take care of yourself properly and don't do anything like you know stressful so we scanned and he saw that the baby still had a heartbeat and everything was okay and that was it so we went home anybody who has had stillbirth or miscarriage or lost a child or you know having the next pregnancy is a big deal because you're going to be excited you're going to be anxious you're going to be worried you're going to be happy you're, there are just a lot of feelings that just come along with it and that is what i have felt throughout this pregnancy I have felt insecure, excitement, I've, set, I've felt nervous, I've felt everything, every single thing. So after that, everything now kicked in. You know now, normal pregnancy, you are hella nausea, weakness, my boobs started getting bigger, huge, and you know, the changes, like, it, it came, definitely, definitely came. I started having cravings, I crave mostly Isewu and shawarma, and there's a particular place I get my shawarma from in here in this Mina Ninja state. I started craving these two things a lot, and I kept eating them a lot. I started craving them, and I kept eating them a lot. I craved pepper too. Ah, I love pepper. I crave pepper. Sometimes I'll crave ice cream, sometimes I'll crave pepper, but... Yeah, that is what like first trimester have been throughout so after i bled i started having some kind of pains my first trimester was full with pains it was filled with pains i was scared because that was how the other baby went like i constantly kept on feeling pains and thought these pains were normal so when i started feeling pains which i was like no doctor come and check me he told us to come to the hospital we went to the hospital we checked he gave me some hormonal drugs that the pains were not okay they weren't okay at all. He told me to go and get some hormonal drugs. They're like pink, like, I think I took a picture of them. I took all those drugs, I was still feeling pains. I went back again, I was like, see, it's like they have to admit me in the hospital. Let me just come and take a bed rest because I, will not, I won't have anything. I won't want anything to happen to this baby. He was, um, so he still said I should continue with the hormonal drugs, that they were mild, but they were actually effective. So I would take the hormonal drugs, the pains will stop. After some days again, they will continue again. I will report to oh, again. And that was how everything continued until I finally moved out of my first trimester. No, this has never happened before in any of my pregnancies. Any pregnancy I've got, I'm not, like I don't constantly have that kind of pains. I don't have it, but I took it serious this time because of 
the thing that happened to me last time so i didn't want to take any chances first trimester i started feeling so heavy my down there started feeling so heavy i mean there was just a lot of things i also forgot to tell you guys that my skin has changed drastically i started having acne acne at the back my face is like crazy i'm even shy to even show you guys like up close of my skin but my skin is like literally so bad so so bad i also started having diarrhea so they said pregnant women have constipation but i always have diarrhea so it doesn't matter it might be between the two if you are pregnant and you're having diarrhea is like something that pregnant women can also face you can also face constipation or face diarrhea people usually say that diarrhea is not good when you're pregnant but for all of my pregnancies instead of constipation what i face is what diarrhea and all of my children come out healthy and sweet and beautiful if you're worried about the diarrhea you're having you can complain to the doctor but if you feel like it's a normal thing fine it's okay but you should count the amount of time you put in a day if, if you're having like you know diarrhea or constipation like if you're having diarrhea count the amount of time because when it is too much it is a problem so um that's that's basically all to be honest first trimester has been so amazing it has been tiring the sickness has been crazy but i'm really thankful that i have actually moved out from the unsafe period which i was so scared of i don't know how many times i went for scanning this first trimester it's crazy it's that crazy i was so scared yeah just follow me along this journey and i hope you guys enjoy every single bit of this journey that i'm about to bring out please don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment and you can share as well and you know all of that and i'm going to see you guys in my next video bye